Well, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Wheel. Kids, but all our eyes closed, please. Dear Heavenly Precious Father, we come today and say thank you. Thank you for this joyous occasion, Father God. Thank you for allowing us to be together one more time, Father God. Thank you for family and friends. Father God, we want to bless you, ask you to bless Will and Latoya on your wedding, Father God. Bless them in a mighty way, Father God. Bless them with prosperity. Bless them with happiness. Bless them with health, Father God. Bless them with the raising of their family, Father God. And let them know that their family and friends support them, Father God. That's all we do, we support them. And Father God, we be careful to give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise that you so rightfully deserve. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Wow. Y'all look at my wife. Yes. I see her. I see her. I see her. Hey, hey. We ain't making no more babies. Okay. <laughs> Will and Latoya decided to do their own vows. Legally, they are already married, so I don't have to technically officiate it. I know a lot of people did not know for over 10 years now. I have been ordained. It's a shocker to one of my friends over there. She was completely <laughs> oblivious. <laughs> but um, I did want to say a few words because uh, I knew Will for over 
20 years now on this journey with my sister Latoya. And all these years, I would like to say it's been her, not him. So, <laughs> listen, we say it's been her, not him. But all jokes aside, I am grateful that she even thought of me to allow me to be in this position to do this for her. I, I'm truly blessed that she even thought of me in that manner because a lot of times, you know, people don't think of family in that manner, especially when it comes to, you know, being in the ministry. So I'm, I'm, I will thank you for even considering me. I appreciate that. Yeah, and now the growth. If any, if any and everybody know here, the growth these two have is amazing. And I, I, I've been married, I've been divorced, and I can tell y'all, and I got married young. And my Aunt Pat, my Aunt Angela, the one that's still married, they tell y'all marriage is for grown folks. <laughs> you got you get some, everything gonna come at you, including the kitchen sink. And they gonna, he gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. But you gotta keep God first. Amen. And that's a lot of mistakes people don't do in their marriage. Y'all, don't call me, don't call Nikki, don't call Siobhan. You go with God first, because guess what? When you done being mad at him, we still mad. And he better not bring no potato salad to the park. We ain't gonna eat it, because we still mad at him. And I'm being honest. Don't, we don't know it. Y'all pray y'all get a relationship together with God, because y'all now one flesh. Ain't no you and me, it's us. One, I want to read uh, first. I want to read First Corinthians 13, started at verse four. It's one of my favorite scriptures. It says, "Love suffers long, and love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. It does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. It is not provoked." It thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all, believes all, hopes all, endures all. Love never fails. You all will be saying that. Okay, yeah. That's what she said. 22 years. For God has been noted. 22 years. And we, we've done this before. But we wanted to do this for everybody to see this in front of family and friends. Everybody, I appreciate everybody that's out here. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's been a journey. We've been through things. We've been through things. A whole lot of things. So my commitment, my redoal, it's a renewal, but this is a redoal for everybody. To let you know that I'm going to always be here. Always. Okay. Yeah. Um, we, we've been through a lot. She's been through a lot. And everybody that knows us that has been through the journey with us, they, they already know what we're talking about. Yeah. But what I want to say is this. This woman right here, Never gave up on me regardless of how things have got crazy. Why do you know it? Your sisters, your brothers, they have their number. She stood right there. So I have no choice. She gave me four beautiful kids. But I still live here. I still live for all my other kids. I got the nation. I got it. The man. Devin, Dylan, and my baby Deshaun. This is why I do this, and I'm going to continue to rock with you. We're going to roll this motherfucker to the real talk. So, so, with that being said, baby, I love you. I still do. Don't make me do this. Don't do it. Leave. Oh. I 
heard someone say that God didn't remove the Red Sea. He parted it. Sometimes God doesn't remove problems. He makes a way through them. Amen. This past year has tested our faith, our marriage. It was times to where I thought our problems was too big to overcome, too painful to forgive. But today, moving forward in front of family, in front of friends, I commit my, recommit myself to the marriage. I promise to be more understanding. I promise to listen, because you always tell me you don't speak where you're not heard. So I promise to love you when you're sick and need of comfort. I promise to appreciate you more. I love you, and I'm going to continue our lives forever. Good. Oh. 